Hi kids, it's Miss Stacy. I want to show you a fun little trick that you can do at home. You take a regular sized sheet of paper and would it be magic if I could make it longer, stretch out really long? I can draw on it and cut along the line to make it stretch out really long. If you watch carefully and gather these materials, paper, something to write with, and scissors, you can make this yourself at home and it can stretch out like magic. Let's do it. First, we're going to draw a spiral on the page better tell you what a spiral is. Let's get a different paper for the spiral. A spiral is a shape that probably most of you know how to draw a circle. A circle, it's curvy and it comes back to touch itself to make that circle. A spiral, if you make a curvy spiral, you start by making a curvy shape but instead of making it come back to touch itself, make it too big so it doesn't touch itself and it goes around. Keep making it bigger so it keeps going around and your shape gets bigger and bigger. And it turns out like that. That is what a spiral is. So these are circles, but my papers are rectangles. So can I make a square or a rectangle spiral? I can, let me show you how. This is my scrap of paper. Uh, so a square is a shape that, you know, you start, let's show you like this on it, like it was an easel. Um, you start at a spot and you come back to that same spot to make a square. But to make a square spiral, just like you made the circle spiral, just make it too big to meet the spot where you started and it will become a square spiral. What if I start out with like a small square, but then bigger and bigger. I'm making it get bigger so that it doesn't meet itself and the shape gets bigger and bigger. That's a square spiral. All right, so I'm gonna draw a square spiral on my big paper that I'm gonna do this magic trick with. Magic. Mm, I'll start in the middle. There's a square spiral or a rectangular spiral on my rectangle paper. Now comes the part where I cut it out and you'll see the magic happen. I'm gonna start cutting like right here. I, I could have continued this line all the way to the edge. And I went ahead and did that so you know where I'm gonna start cutting. I'll just cut right along the line. If you wanna make one of these at home, but you have a little trouble drawing a spiral, you can ask mom, dad, sister, brother, babysitter, grandma, grandpa. You can ask somebody else to draw a spiral for you. Or if you have trouble cutting, maybe you could ask them to do the cutting. Maybe you can draw a spiral, but you're not so good at cutting. Maybe you can draw it and they can cut it. Or what if you and somebody you're with, what if you both make one? Got two magic tricks. Or you could make a whole bunch of them 
whole bunch of spiral paper magic tricks. But do you see what's happening? As I cut, all of this paper is just sort of, it's all over the place. It's gonna stretch out long. Oh my goodness, it's already doing it. I'm gonna finish my cut. I'm gonna stay on that spiral line. I do not wanna cut all the way through the paper. Then I'll just get small pieces of paper. I have to turn a corner when my line turns a corner. There finished cutting all along my spiral line. Now let's stretch it out and see what happens. Oh my goodness. I don't know if you can see that in the video. It's so long. I can hardly, oh my goodness. It's as long as from this hand to that hand, just about as long as both of my arms. I don't know, can you see that from there? I'll have to check the video later. And this long, long line of paper, all one piece of paper, came from, I'll show you the size. It came from just this. This was only as long as that, but when I drew a spiral and cut along it, it got so long. Can you make that magic trick? Hope you have fun. Bye-bye.